if you asked everyone what you want in your local area, you would never have a big city because there are always going to be some of these areas, particularly which fall in between local areas, which are sort of unpleasant and dark and messy. And um, much as Ian Sinclair talks about these areas with a sort of affection, which I absolutely share, I don't think that you can plan cities totally from the bottom up. I mean, someone's got to think about air quality. Someone's got to think about big transport issues, which sometimes do mean knocking beautiful areas down. Otherwise, you're not going to be connected with the rest of the world. And Saskia Sassen, who's another person who writes in our book, you know, talks about how cities are part of a sort of global economy and that the connection between Sao Paulo Stock Exchange and London and Tokyo is actually nearly more important than people moving around. It's what transactions are actually happening there. So you're, I think the local is, of course, important in terms of you know, the quality of life of individuals. But there's a macro dimension to cities, the economies of scale, which have to be taken into account. And otherwise, uh, there wouldn't be you know, this sort of top league of major global cities which perform in many ways better than others. That also means that they coalesce some of the biggest problems 